The Indian River Lagoon is home to over 4,000 species of fish, wildlife, and plants, the most of any estuary in North America. But development, invasive species, and pollution has destroyed many of its wetlands, mangrove shorelines, and seagrass beds. According to Dr. Grant Gilmore, a fish researcher on the Sebastian River, one of the Indian River Lagoon's major tributaries, this is one of the most unique places on Earth. Well, there are more kinds of fish that live in the Indian River Lagoon than any other estuary in the nation. In fact, the Sebastian River here, there are 12 species of fish that reproduce only here and two other tributaries to the lagoon. They depend on the shoreline vegetation here for habitat. If we take that vegetation out and replace it with boulders or seawalls, we're actually destroying the habitat for these fish, uh, where they obtain food and shelter from predation. Because there are more kinds of fish here, this is a measure of the health of the waters of our country. If we lose fish here, it's a loss for the country. The Marine Resources Council, a Florida nonprofit organization, coordinates the efforts of over 800 volunteers who restore the waters and shorelines these fish need. Here on the Pelican Island National Wildlife Refuge, Marine Resources Council's executive director, Jim Egan, is planting mangroves with local students and staff from U.S. Fish and Wildlife. Well, this area is so important is because this is a great place for the mama to come to make the babies. Out in a big open area, the mother doesn't want to make the babies there because other fish would come and eat them. We're out here on the Pelican Island National Wildlife Refuge. This is our nation's first wildlife refuge, and we're here with U.S. Fish and Wildlife staff. Without partners such as Marine Resources Council and dedicated volunteers, restoration efforts on Pelican Island would not be possible. The average person can make a huge difference from the environment. For instance, today we're out here planting native plants along the shoreline. Red mangroves, one of the most valuable native plants. Their roots provide a home for fish, their uh, leaves provide food for fish and for manatees, and even their branches provide home for birds. If you restore the habitat in your own backyard, that habitat will be priceless in terms of keeping the wildlife in your area uh, healthy and thriving. Volunteers with the Marine Resources Council measure water quality in their local area, restore habitat, help monitor endangered species, help protect our sensitive natural lands by opposing impacts by development and assist in efforts to purchase unique lands for the public to enjoy. It is cheaper and most effective to protect what we still have than to restore it later. Water quality is everything. Either you're contributing lawn chemicals and, and creating an environment where you'll end up with green water and fish kills, or you're contributing a natural environment environment with native plants that will actually help your fish and your wildlife, the recreation of your community, its economy, and ultimately the health of your entire community. Every year, the Indian River Lagoon provides $3.7 billion in economic benefits, with over $102 million in income from recreational fishing alone, and supports 15,000 full and part-time jobs. There's so much to love about the Indian River Lagoon. 75% of the game fish in Florida and 90% of the commercial species can uh, be caught here in this Indian River Lagoon and they depend on shoreline habitat. Restoring the habitat and the, uh, the water quality is something that most people don't think about day to day, but it really does affect their quality of life. And if you want to get involved, you could join the efforts of the Marine Resource Council restoring the lagoon for you and your community. Do you love your waters enough? Do you love these fish enough to save them? Love your waters back to life. To learn more about the Marine Resource Council, visit their website at www.mrcirl.org or email council at mrcirl.org.